Hello everyone, it's me, Rochelle. Happy Never Miss a Monday show. And I know it's Tuesday, um, it's June 1st, and I just felt like today's show would be better on Tuesday. So yeah, if that's confusing, it is Tuesday, June 1st. Hello everyone, I am doing the Never Miss a Monday show because yesterday was a holiday. And although we didn't miss a Monday at VFIT, um, I did take part of the day off with my family. But I am excited today, I wanted to hop in and just share the story of VFIT. I, I love sharing the story, um, not to brag or to boast at all, because as you'll hear, this is a team story and just about a passion and a dream and heartache and how VFIT came to fruition. And I don't think everyone knows the heart behind this story. So I'm excited to share that with you today. I do have a super exciting announcement at the end of a brand new program we were launching, and I'll go into that at the very end. But um, I hope this fires you up. If you have a dream, if you have a passion, take a step towards that. It doesn't have to be perfect. You don't have to have everything in alignment to just move forward. And I always joke around when it comes to VFIT, uh, running a business. I'm actually really glad I had no idea what I was getting into because it might have been too overwhelming to start. I've always had this philosophy, and I stand by it to this day, jump and the parachute will deploy. It's always worked. Uh, just take that step. Don't wait for perfect. But I'm asked, the first question I think I'm asked most of the time when it comes to VFIT is, did you create this or did you start this online studio? I think people are used to all the multi-level marketing companies and the different products out there and different other companies. And the answer is yes, completely my own blood, sweat, and tears. Um, plenty of mistakes have been made along the way and continue to be made. But this is my pursuit of uh, spreading joy and passion and fitness to the world. And it started, and I usually our biggest achievements and our biggest life changes happen from the hardest times in our life. So if you're going through a hard time right now to yourself, um, know that that's actually setting you up for the next level, that it's something good will come of it. Have faith, that's part of the story. Have a belief system that through the toughest of times, around the corners where we grow and where we find our passion and uh, grow to that next level where we can also share. So my love for fitness started, I was always grew up doing sports, active, uh, weekend warrior as I got into college and into a career where I'd go out and do something on the weekend, but I was pretty sedentary during the week. I worked an office job, uh, just not a very healthy lifestyle. And my husband and I had been recently married a couple of years and we're trying to have a baby, get pregnant. And I, um, we did, and I ended up having a miscarriage. And that was heartbreaking. If you've been through that, I know when you hear that, and I share this because it felt like the bottom for me. And I was wanted this so bad and it's something I had no control over. And it was heartbreaking. It was absolutely heartbreaking for both of us. Um, and so I started to kind of resent my body and resent what the hell, why couldn't this happen? Why, it seemed like everyone around me was sneezing and getting pregnant and here I was, we were having such a hard time. So I went through this period where I really wasn't happy with myself, with my body, negative self-talk. I probably wasn't doing things that were healthy for myself either. And finally one day I said, you know what? I have so much more power than I realize. And I empower everybody with that statement. You have so much power over your health and well-being than you realize. So I had a good friend at work, um, and she's actually still, she's a fitter to this day, Danica. And I said, you know what? Let's join the gym. We've got an hour break at lunch every day. Let's go do something for our bodies that's healthy. And she's always she's like, okay, sure. So we go to the local gym, and we sign up. And here, I, I had not been a gym person. I was like an outdoor sports type person. Maybe I've been to a gym a couple times. So we didn't know where to start. And I, I'm sure a lot of you relate. It can be really intimidating to go to a gym. So we went for a month or two. And it's important. Have an accountability buddy. This is one of the steps to sticking with fitness. I'm at VFIT. We're all about accountability. We have each other's back all the time, checking in, um, celebrating. So that's huge. So my friend and I would go and we'd go to the gym and I just laugh because we'd go on the elliptical. We didn't know what to do. So I think we switched between the elliptical and the treadmill. And we'd go on it for 30 minutes because I don't know, that seemed like the right amount of time. We had an hour lunch break. We got to get dressed, go there, uh, then do our thing, get dressed, go back, eat some lunch, go back to work. And then we'd go into the weight room, talk about overwhelming, uh, had no idea what to do when it came to free weights. And we just like probably do 10 bicep curls and 10 overhead presses. And then we'd like scurry our ways out of there. So we did that for a couple months, which was good because it set the habit. The most important thing to sticking to anything is to just get that habit, just showing up. Uh, but we kept peeking and we kept hearing all this chatter in the gym. 
like whistles and noise and people were smiling and having fun and it was loud. And we we're like peeking in and we're like, what's going on? That looks fun. But no, I'm not, that's scary. It was a boot camp class. So after two or three months of our elliptical and weights and realizing like this isn't gonna do much, um, we decided and we had each other, we're like, let's go try this boot camp class. And that day changed my life because the energy of having others around you in a similar space and the movement and the camaraderie and the pushing yourself and I just loved it. I was hooked. I like literally became a gym rat almost to an unhealthy point. Cause like here I had this thing that made me feel so good and I had control over and I just loved it. So we started going to the gym five, six times a week. I go in the morning, I go at lunch. Like I literally became a gym rat. <laughs> and um, then I got into, per then I, one of the director of fitness said, you should, you should teach, you should become a fitness trainer. So I took my training in willpower, which is what began my fitness career on the trainer side. I was about 30, which is kind of old in fitness uh, terms. And I started with willpower, which I'm so grateful because that is a format and we still have it to this day at VFit, mind and body. It's functional fitness, it's cardio, it's inspiration, it's movement. It's just a beautiful, beautiful style of uh, fitness. So fast forward and we'll go through the whole thing, but I, I became a trainer at the gym. I still had my office job and I was able to do it all because I didn't have any kids yet. Well, fast forward, I did get pregnant and um, my oldest Emmy is now eight years old. Then I got pregnant again. My middle child, Weston, is six. And so my life changed. And all of a sudden getting to the gym wasn't possible anymore. We moved out of town. We had no childcare at our gym. Um, it just became a chore. And that was the bummer because as I said, I loved it. It made me who I was. It was a sense of purpose and community and just everything that I loved. And so all of a sudden I'm in this new season where I'm like, what am I gonna do? I, it's two to three hours to get to the gym, have someone help me wash my kids, bring snacks, wake them up from their nap. Like it became a chore. And when something's a chore, we all know we start to push it off and push it off. So someone approached me one day, I think it was from one of the companies, um, one of those multi-level marketing companies and said, are you interested in doing online fitness? And I was like, got my wheels spinning. Cause by this time I had started personal training clients on Skype, which dates me, but you'd call them up, we'd have our meetings and it was working, but I missed the group fitness. There's nothing like having others with you that are there and you're all doing it together and you got your trainer. So I got my wheels spinning. There has to be a way to do group fitness online. This is flashback, my friends. This is five years, over five, almost six years ago. No one knew what Zoom was. No one knew about any of this stuff. So I just had this crazy idea. I said, is there anything out there that will give you community save you time because who has time to go to the gym when you've got kids, you live out of town, you've got a job. I'm talking about pre-pandemic problems, I'm being intimidated to go to the gym. What were those roadblocks back before uh, I, the pandemic that people had? This is five, six years ago. So those problems still exist to this day. And by the grace of God, a lot of hard work and passion, I just started to put the pieces together and opened up BeFit Studio to the world that first week. We had like eight classes on the schedule. Uh, we let everyone join for free to get a taste of how it was gonna be. We didn't really even know. We had done a month of trials and beta testing and stuff, but we just said, you know what? I had two other trainers. And I'm so proud of what we stand for today because I call it the superhero. You ever watch the action shows in the Marvel comics? Like different superheroes come in at different times and for different purposes. So over the last five and a half years, we've grown our superhero team. We've got 12 incredible trainers across the country and we are real. This is where I teach. This is my studio. We're real life people just um, like all of you. And we're just looking for that community. We love to have fun. I think that's what really differentiates us at VFit is that yes, we are efficient. We are effective fitness masters. We are professionals in our trade. We take your, your health and your safety super serious but that doesn't take away from how much fun we have. We love celebrating every birthday, every milestone. I, every day there's something different we're celebrating at VFit. And I think, I don't think, I know right now, so many of you need to put fun back in your fitness. It's become a chore like I talked about. It's become something you dread, something that's overwhelming. 
something that you know you want more of, but you can't figure out how to get it in your life right now. And that is where VFit has filled the void for so many. And it's become literally a way of life. This community, I am so proud of each and every member, each and every trainer, um, the most uplifting, fun, just positive, and again, real, real life. So we are going, June just started, we announced today right here live, we are beginning, and there's only 15 spots, so please, please message us or reach out if you're interested in one of them. We are doing a 21-day fitness fuel up, a functional, so F-U-N in capitals, functional fitness fuel up. We want to infuse the fun back into your fitness routine, show you that you can be fit and healthy during any season of life. You can enjoy it. You can have the accountability. You can have the community. You don't need to take hours of your day. Um, we're bringing live classes. We can see you. You can see us. It is unlike anything out there. And we're inviting you 21 days. You get an unlimited pass to as many classes. We have, I believe, close to 80 classes a week right now. 15 to 30 minutes per class. Again, you won't even feel like you're working out. It's fun, but you will feel like you're working out because the next day you'll be like, ooh, ah, ooh, la, la. Uh, all these muscles that you forgot were alive in your body. And then the bonus with this program, this is the first time we've launched this, we're hooking you up with a personal accountability coach. So one of our trainers will personally check in with you once a week, help you uh, design your classes, learn our functional fitness plan, figure out what classes work for you, schedule-wise. If you have questions, we've got a bunch of um, insider tips and tricks and just things that we've created over the years that help people stick with fitness once and for all. So we'll be infusing that into you over the 21 days with your coach. And again, just making it fun, taking the chore out, showing you fitness is possible in every season of life and it needs to be a priority because right now coming out of the last 16 months uh, i hope everyone realizes there's nothing much more important than having your health and feeling good and putting in the work uh but it can be fun work can be fun so if you're interested in that program there are 15 spots this is the first release of it um, i imagine they will fill up because that's an incredible program and i am just so passionate about vfit what we stand for um Again, if you are in search of a fitness family, that you heard it, it started out of a tragedy, out of our own low in my own life, and from that um, created this amazing community and just rock star group of humans coming together day in, day out. That's also important, having people that are walking the walk with you in the same seasons of life, um, able to help lift you up when you need that little push, and most importantly, giving you extra smile the other 23 hours of your day that you're not working out, infusing this just positive lifestyle into you. So hopefully that story inspired you. If you've got a dream, if you've got a passion, have faith, go for it. Most likely if you need it, there's others out there that need it too. And um, if you're looking for a fitness family, we have those spots, 15 of them, to give us 21 days to just infuse some fun and some function back into your fitness routine. So message us, uh, comment below, we'll send you the details. Uh, you can get more about what exactly all of the stats and everything going into it. So happy Tuesday. Thank you for watching and uh, we'll be back next week or we got more good stuff coming this week. So just stay tuned on our social media. We're really pumping it up this month. We're excited to share with everyone just so much love and passion for health and fitness. Oh, have a good day.